It's just uh, one of those special memories you take with you forever at UK. Uh, just on the senior day, glad to get the win. And, uh, glad to see us play as well as we did in the second half. First half, some sunny. Tell about the senior day, your emotions, what everything went through the ceremony, you, your folks, your teammates, whatever you were thinking. Uh, it was really emotional the day before, I gotta say. And, and before the game, we all met as a team in the hotel. And um, the seniors got up in front of the team once and talked about just their experience here. Then they got, and personally, I got up in front of the offense and we had to get up in front of another group of people. So it was just a very emotional day, especially on Friday night. And um, um, just trying to you know express yourself to their teammates, what it means to them, and uh, stuff they probably have never heard before. But uh, you know, it, it was good to, to go out like this. What did you say to your teammates? Um, honestly, I told them, like, everybody was asking me how I'm going to leave my legacy, how, what am I going um, to do to, to leave my mark here. And I told them, I said, you know, all I really thought about this week was you guys. As I thought about how hard I need to prepare and practice for you guys to get the win. And um, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I wouldn't be talking to you guys about how good of a year I've had if it wasn't for them. So I gave all the credit to them. Like you guys last year were also trailing 13-10 at the half, and I know you all came out of that and said, we're just going to put the ball in Randall and Derek's hands and say go to work and win this game. Look looked a lot the same this year. Yeah, um, we knew we had a good chance to uh, run the ball on them. Um, they, were, they were giving up quite a bit uh, a game, but uh, um, we still knew they were a tough defense. We still knew that no one has physically, uh, physically beaten them really bad. Um, you know, big plays, this and that. I mean, Florida obviously was a different story, but you know, they were a solid, solid defense. But we knew if we get, we got the creases, we got the leverage, we would be able to run it um, very well. And I told Randall, um, he came off really tired a couple times, and you know, banged up. I told him, you know, they're going to need a stretcher to take you off today because you're just going to go the whole day. He looked at me, nodded, went back out there. So in that regard, we were pretty confident about our run game the whole day. Like how mean much to you did his? That you have not experienced a year without going to a bowl game. Now, I mean, every year of your career, you had to do a bowl game. I, I think it's great. Uh, it, it definitely makes you proud for, to, to be the class, the first class that came in and started the bull streak and to go out, um, go into another one. Uh, but I think it really sets the foundation for the, the guys younger than me to, to keep it going, to keep it alive, to, to make them realize what they're working towards. And, uh, um, you know, all we got to do is keep working to get it, get it done. we got another big one uh, in two weeks from now, and uh, that one's going to be bigger than anything we've done this year. So. Mike, what did that ovation mean to you when you came off the field? I mean, you got a pretty good ovation. Uh, I, was, I was just really proud uh, to be a part of this team, to be a part of this university program. And um, just to share with the guys around me who've been here as long as I have, the other seniors, uh, um, it was just nice, you know, to to, uh, to get to get a round of applause from everybody, but also to you know hug Randall on the sideline, hug Coach Sanders, hug Coach Phillips, who have been through me, uh, been there with me through thick and thin. So uh, uh, it means a lot. Can you talk about Randall. How much did that run? How much did the 73 yarder kind of change things for the offense? It seemed like you guys had a little life after that. It was a great punch. Me and uh, Ricky Lumpkin both uh, in halftime. Very, very vocal, very emotional about getting it done at the line of scrimmage, both sides of the ball. It's where it starts, it's where it's got to begin, it's where it's got to fire off. And those guys responded. I mean, you see the rushing yards uh, second half. We didn't throw very much. We ran it all over them. And uh, you can just tell they really responded and took it to another level. You said your teammates asked you about the legacy that you're going to leave or whatever. What do you think is your legacy? Well, I think um, you, you just uh, – Honestly, there really wasn't much before this season. Obviously, we won the Liberty Bowl, had the bowl games, and that was great. But uh, uh, other than that, it was it was how we fought back every game and when we were down and you know, how we kept our poise and, and, and confidence in ourselves to keep playing hard. And uh, um, I just told, them, I, I told my teammates, I hope I set a good example for them to carry on, to, to always do the right things, to, to practice hard every day, even though when you don't want to, and to just uh, um, do the right things. And, uh, you know, it, obviously playing and playing well helps the leadership a lot more, but those things off the field and things you take care of are what guys really see too. Thanks, Mike. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Mike.